It's Dave from thinkoutsidetheslide.com. You know, I'm a real advocate for using multiple screens when you're presenting virtually, hybrid, or even just you want to be more productive. I've done videos on how you can use a laptop as a second screen for another laptop or a desktop, and I've even done a video on how you can use an iPad as a second screen for a Windows laptop. Well, recently, OIWAC got in touch with me and asked me if I would take a look at some of their multi-screen options. Now, before I agreed, I did some research because I wanted to make sure that this might be a good solution for business professionals. And so they sent me their OK14 device. Now, what this is, is it's a device that allows you to attach it to your laptop and then add two screens, one on the left, one on the right. So what I want to do in this video is show you what's inside the box and how I think it might be useful for business professionals who present or want to be more productive. Okay, so when we take a look at the box, a couple of the features here, 14 inch diagonal screens, connects via USB-C or HDMI, I'm going to talk about that. They're IPS panels, so that's a good technology to use, and full HD, so 1920 by 1200 resolution. So we open it up. And first thing we see is that we have some very clear connection uh, information here where you can decide how you're going to connect it, either USB-C or HDMI. We'll get to that. But good that they give you some instructions and some diagrams right away. So nice protective foam here to protect it. We've got a user's guide, which has all the instructions, good instructions here. And now this is the actual device. So when we take it out of the box, again, it's packed in this nice foam, so that gives it a lot of protection. Even got foam on the bottom here. So this is the device and it has a clip that uh, holds it together. And this is a magnetic cover so that you can make sure that it stays protected when it's transported. Take that off, and there's the cover that comes apart. So we're going to take a look at the screens uh, more in just a minute, but here are the various cables that come with it. You've got, this is a USB-A to USB-C for powering the device. You've got two of those. We've got two um, HDMI to mini HDMI cables, and we have two USB-C cables with a 90-degree there so that keeps it out of the way so nice thing is, is they give you all the cables you're going to need which is a real advantage over some of the other screens that you might see individual screens where you don't get any cables at all you have to buy them that could be you know upwards of 50 dollars sometimes the extra cables so we're going to set the cables aside for just a moment and take a look at the device so we're going to take the cover off so first of all I like the fact that the cover, it really keeps it secure, holds it together, but then it comes off so you don't have to have it on while you're using it. So here's what it looks like. Let me turn it around so we can see here. So one of the things that each of the screens are the same, they have two USB-C inputs and a mini HDMI input. Now I think this is important. It's important to have both USB-C and HDMI to give you the flexibility. I talked about that in the video where I talked about my in-person and hybrid setup, giving yourself the flexibility is really important. And then on the top, we have the power button and a brightness uh, wheel there. So to open it up, you simply pull it apart and you'll notice what it has is it has a hinge here. So what this means is that you can have it sitting without it falling over right away. And then you open up the hinge to connect it to your laptop. And so these little tabs here flip out, that holds it on the top of your laptop. And then around the back, there are two D-rings and you pull this apart. And then these sides, nice padded here, to protect your laptop, clip onto the sides of your laptop. And I'll show you how that goes together uh, in just a minute. So here's the back of the device, and you can see the, there are the tabs that would hang on. And to pull it apart, there are these D-rings. So that's nice, you're not having to grip close to your laptop screen. 
you can pull these apart to get it onto your laptop. And this says it fits 13 inch to 15 inch laptops, which is good because many of us are carrying the small portable, I have a, a Dell XPS 13, a 13 inch laptop. Now after you attach it and then you're going to tilt the screen, the question is, isn't this going to put a lot of weight on that screen and really pull it down? Well, here's the great feature that they have included, which is a stand. So this stand pulls out, then you slide it down, and so this provides support against the table so that it won't tip over. So that's a nice feature that they've built in. And one of the things you've probably noticed as you've seen me walking around and showing you this, is that this is made of aluminum. This is not plastic. This is really hard aluminum. That means it's going to be durable. It's not going to get banged up and break as you are traveling with it. So I got it set up and let me explain sort of how it is set up and why I've done it this way. Many modern laptops like my Dell XPS 13 here only have two USB-C ports and one of them you need to power. You need to power the laptop. So one of the ports that I'm not using to power, what I've done is I've used one of those USB-C cables that it comes with and I've connected it from my laptop here to one of the USB-C ports on the monitor. And then for the other monitor, what I've done is I'm using a USB-C hub. This is the Ugreen one that I recommend. And to power the laptop, I'm using my USB-C cable, which goes into my power plug back there. And then what I've done is for the monitor, I'm using the HDMI out on the hub, goes to the mini HDMI on the monitor. And then I'm using the USB-A to USB-C power plug, power cable that came with the monitor. Because the hub is getting power from the power plug, it gives power to the monitor. The problem with the only having two USB-C ports on the laptop is that the power can't go to that second monitor because it needs to be going through this cable to the laptop. So when you set it up, think about how you're going to be able to do that with your particular setup. But many of us with modern laptops are going to be have to using this setup because we only have two USB-C ports. So you're going to use this uh, Ugreen USB-C hub. And again, I'll put links to all of the equipment that I'm using in the description down below. But now I've set it up and in Windows, I've simply extended my uh, screen so that it goes to the left and to the right. Now to connect it to your laptop, as I demonstrated before, you use the two D-rings in the back to pull it apart and attach it. So when I use the two D-rings to pull it apart, one of the things that you'll notice is it actually is too wide for my laptop. So this is one of the things to note is that you need to measure the width of your laptop screen. And what I figured out is, is that you need a minimum of 12 inches of width of your laptop screen for this to be able to securely connect to the back of your laptop, to the laptop screen. If your laptop is too small to fit in the hinge, you can still actually use the hinge. So first of all, kick the kickstand out at the back, and then take your laptop and move it so that the screen goes right against the back, the hinge here, the back of the screen. And then just keep pushing the base, and what will happen is that these two clips here along with the kickstand in the back, will tilt the side screens up. And it's a much nicer way to be able to see it. It gives you a lot easier view of all three screens. So how can this be used to be more productive? Well, I'm showing you here, the, these three screens allow you to have everything visible whenever you want to. So for example, I've got a presentation maybe I'm working on over here. I've got the browser in the middle and I've got maybe email, I'm just showing Word here so you don't see my email, but a Word document or email over here. Now you can be traveling, you can be even at your desk in your office, and you can be so much more productive because you have all three screens working for you. And you can arrange them however you want. And because they are high resolution, 1920 by 1200 screens, you can fit a lot on them. Now, 
if you initially set it up and the screen doesn't look like it's fitting as much as what I'm showing you, then the thing that might be going on in the uh, Windows display settings here, just make sure that you go to the uh, actual screen, each of these screens, and scroll down and this uh, particular, I'm going to zoom in so you can see this here, this setting here that says scale and layout, make sure it says 100%. When I set these up initially, my version of Windows picked 150% as the recommended. So if I drop this down, you'll see it says recommended 150% but then you lose a lot of the screen real estate. So set it to 100% and that'll make it a lot easier for you to be productive. For virtual presenting, here's how you can set it up. I've got my PowerPoint presentation here on the primary screen. You notice I've got Zoom on the left screen. Now when I put it into presenter view in PowerPoint, I have my webcam, which is right here. I have my speaker notes. I have my slides. This is the screen I'm going to share in the Zoom meeting. And then I can have all my Zoom controls. I can see the attendees, whatever I want, over on that third screen. So when I'm delivering my virtual presentation, as I'm going through, I can advance my slides very easily. I see that happening. I'm looking at my notes. I'm looking at the camera. So I'm really engaged with the audience. If I need to check out their videos, I can just glance again over to this screen on the left see their reactions, and then continue presenting in PowerPoint Presenter View. This gives you that additional functionality that you're looking for when you're delivering virtual, whether that's in your office, or now you can deliver a virtual presentation with all of this functionality when you're traveling because these additional screens are very portable and easy to take with you. Now, they're probably not gonna fit into your same laptop bag, uh, just because of the thickness with the two screens together and the hinge. But if you got an extra bag, which most of us do anyways, pop these in and you can deliver a great virtual presentation when you're traveling. For in-person or hybrid presentations, you don't have to use both screens. So what I've done is I've tucked one of the screens here in behind. It's not on, not connected at all, and the hinge is making it nice and solid. This is my second screen. And if you know what I do with my in-person and hybrid presentations is I use an HDMI splitter to take HDMI out of the laptop, goes to the splitter, one of the cables goes to the screen that the audience is seeing, and one goes to my screen. So now in an in-person or hybrid, I have my speaker notes. I can go through my PowerPoint presentation one by one, easy to do. I see exactly what the audience is seeing. And if I'm on hybrid, I'm on Zoom, I have all those controls available as well on my screen. And then the nice thing about this is, is I can put content onto my second screen by simply dragging it there. So let's say I want to show a website. I bring up my browser. I simply drag it onto the screen that I can see right here. And you, it automatically drags onto the screen for the audience. So even if the audience projected screen is behind me. I can't see it. I know exactly what they're seeing because my second screen here is showing me. And I'm simply, again, I've got the power, I've got the mini HDMI. This time the HDMI is going to the splitter. I'll link to the video where I show you my in-person setup. But this allows you to use only one screen if you wanted to for those in-person or hybrid presentations using PowerPoint's presenter view, full screen slides, You've got your um, virtual meeting platform controls, everything that you want. But again, you've chosen to use one screen instead of two. So it works really well for hybrid and in-person presentations. Overall, I think the OIWAC OK14 could be a great investment for those of you who want to be more productive, deliver virtual and hybrid presentations with a full three screens. Thanks to OIWAC for providing this set of screens for me to review and to show to you. You can get all the information about all of the products that I showed in the links in the description down below. Thanks for watching.